Players who play on Hall of Fame or comp online games will be playing with green or miss shot timing for the ultimate challenge. But team control modes will see more forgiving shot timing so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to find success. The shot timing release time setting from NBA 2K23 has been converted to a new setting called shot timing visual cue. Now you can set your desired release point based on whatever animation cue works best for you. This makes it much easier to play with players and teams you're not as familiar with. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are much more effective this year. And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. It's much more forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the ability to finish tough circus layups in traffic if you can master it. For dunkers in new gen, you can now force rim hangs from any two-hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks, and up-down or down-up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic with the dunk meter. Meter dunks are green or miss on higher difficulty levels now, so you have to be precise to finish off the play. Bigs are going to have a lot of fun dominating in the paint in NBA 2K24. You can now branch out of any offensive rebound to a putback attempt by simply pressing the shot button after the catch. Post fades and hop shots are also really effective shots for post players, and you can definitely feel the impact of strength and weight as bigger players easily dominate weaker ones on the glass. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24.